Scott Campbell from Teak and Racing, and today we're going to cover the setting push control, specifically what it does, how we use it on the racetrack, and how to adjust it through the hot wire. Push control, as the name implies, allows you to add some artificial coast to the drivetrain of your RC car, truck, or buggy. So it basically does the exact opposite of what drag brake accomplishes. Rather than applying brakes automatically when we see a neutral signal, we keep applying a little bit of throttle so that we can push the car into and out of the corners. And this helps maintain corner speed and it also just helps you carry momentum everywhere on the track. Push control is only going to activate when the ESC sees a valid neutral signal from the radio. So you wanna make sure that you're not using too low of a neutral width because it can cause some erratic behavior with neutral activated features like push control and drag brake. Push control can really come in handy, especially if you're a nitro driver. Those cars love to coast. When the clutch disengages, there's not a whole lot of drivetrain resistance to keep the car from rolling freely. But with an electric motor, that motor is always connected to the spur gear, so it's going to provide some drag. And push control can help eliminate some of that drag feeling. When it comes to push control settings, there really is no right or wrong answer. It's more of a driver preference setting, and you're just going to have to play with it to see what you really like. Push control is only adjustable through the hot wire, so we're going to plug into our PC. You can also adjust it with the hot wire 3.0 Bluetooth on some Android and iOS devices. We're going to plug into the PC real quick, and I'll show you how to adjust push control. Push control is located on the brake tab in the hot wire PC interface. It is the third setting from the left hand side right here. The default is off and you have 0 to 100% push control. And keep in mind that the longer you hold throttle, the more push control you're going to get when you drop to neutral. So once you pick a value that you want to try out, go over here and hit apply settings. Now we're running some push control and we'll see how that works on the track. <laughs> 